Charles Hesmer was an 18-year-old Navy recruit assigned to an empty desk in Washington, D.C. He found a book in the bottom drawer that would change his life. It was titled How to Draw a Figure. He's been perfecting the craft ever since. 10 News reporter Bobby Lewis is on the road in South Tampa with a painter who was creating art in a rare way and is now using his talent to showcase an iconic Tampa event. Hardly anybody paints with a palette knife. Painting has been Charles Hesmer's passion for decades. Turning that dress into a dark red dress. Charles is 92, a painter with a deep desire for detail, a man who chose a blade over bristles. I decided I have got to be the best I, that you can possibly be with a palette knife. Charles is one of very few men in the world well, who paints the human know. form this way. And I'm going, why don't they do that? And I went, it's because they can't. I'm going to do something that nobody else can do. A technique requiring sharp skills. Painting the figure is another world. Skills he's applying to one of Tampa's most iconic events. Every one of those beads is painted with the tip of a knife. That probably took me all day long to do that. Three years ago, Gasparilla cannons caught Charles's attention. So he hopped on his bike and rode four blocks to the parade route to snap some photos for inspiration. And I'm looking at the photographs on my computer and I'm going, boy, these are really, this is really something. I wonder if it's ever been painted. Gasparilla. Look at all this detail in here. Hadn't. Without question, they all say, oh my God, the color. His paintings are all stunning, but the Gasparilla pieces have become some of his favorites. Called invasion celebration. Reminders of the regional the scenes we love. Gasparilla is not about those floats. It's about the people. It's about the mothers and the children. Pirates painted with a sword of his own. The life of an artist is, is a climb up a, an empty staircase, a stairway, but you can never stop climbing. Paint forever till you die. He captured that about Tampa in those yeah. paintings, too. You see the expression in the faces. It's just incredible to see what he's capable of doing. We were sitting here like, what? How do you even begin? Yeah. So Charles has lived in Tampa since 1975. His most expensive painting sold for $24,000. Wow. So he says that he painted his wife more than 50 times. We have a gallery of his work that you can check out right now at WTSP.com.